everyone welcome to the essence of life tarot thank you so much for tuning in so this reading is for the sign of scorpio for those of you who have scorpio in your chart like myself or you're dealing with someone that's got scorpio in their chart so thanks for joining me i've done a pre-shuffle already so we can jump straight into this reading so to outline the reading we have past life relationship it says you have known each other before and let your friends help you it says ask for and accept support from others and make the effort it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so past life relationship let your friends help you and make the effort so i lay out the tarot and uh do a free card spread tap into the current energies in this situation let's see what spirit wants you to know it's giving us the Empress. We've got the Ten of Swords and Knight of Wands. Right. So someone's taking action here. So I'll clarify these cards, get some more insight. We've got the Page of Swords. Someone's spying. Queen of Cups in reverse, Two of Wands. Nine of Wands, Six of Swords in reverse, and the Lovers in reverse. Could be dealing with a Gemini. So now that the cards are laid out, yeah, I'm getting, someone's got their eyes on you. Whoever I'm reading for, someone has got their eyes on you. Page of Swords. Someone's watching you during this time. They're keeping tabs on you. They are coming for you. Whoever this is, they're coming for you. Knight of Wands. We've got the Knight of Wands. The overall energy of this reading. Someone is taking action here. Someone is coming towards you. They're on a mission. Two of Wands, the lovers. This person's planning to come towards you. Yeah, we've got the Empress here as well. I'm getting, you know... Whoever I'm reading for, you're in this Empress energy. This is what I'm getting. You are in this Empress energy. I feel like, you know, you have um, stepped into your divine feminine power in the situation with this person. It looks like um, you do have your boundaries up. I feel with this person, this person. We've got the Nine of Wands here in reverse. Yeah, you don't trust this person. Nine of Wands. You really got your wall up with this person. So yeah, you do you do this is someone that you've you've dealt with before. This is this is I feel like this is an ex lover. We've got the lovers here in reverse. This is an ex lover. They're coming back, they're planning to come come towards you again yeah it leads me to this past life relationship you have known each other before yeah so for some of you i'm getting that this is an ex-lover that's coming back maybe i'm getting they may for some of you this this is someone that uh, attempted to come back recently and uh, i feel like you shut them down got the ten of swords here so this is someone that may have attempted to come back recently and you shut them down. Ten of Swords. Ouch. I feel like you're in this... You are in your divine feminine energy. The Empress. I mean, I feel like this is, you know, like I said, someone from your past. They may be always in and out your life because they're in this energy, this night energy, flighty, in and out. I feel like during the time that they were out, you grew, you transformed into the Empress. You really blossomed here. You grew wiser. You're more emotionally balanced now. You're more mature spiritually, emotionally. Yeah, I feel like at this point, you know what you want. You know what you want, you know, and you're not settling for anything less. you got standards. You're showing this person that you got standards. Whoever this is from your past trying to return, 
Yeah, you're showing them what you're made of now. This is what I can see. Ten of Swords. <laughs> you're really showing this person who you are. You know who you are, what you want. And you're showing them what you're made of. Wow. You set up boundaries here with this person. Yeah, because they're coming in this player energy. Yeah, you don't want a player. I feel like moving forward, you want better for your life. You know, you deserve, you know, a relationship with someone that will treat you, that can treat you as an empress, you know? The empress needs an emperor. This person, you know, they, they're in this night energy, so they're still not on your level, whoever this is. However, it doesn't look like they're giving up on you, though. Even though if you have shut them down, they're still coming. They're planning on coming back. <gasps> it's not over. We've got to make the effort here. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I feel like this person is in love with you, you know. <laughs> this person sees you as the love of, the, of their life, really and truly. Yeah. I feel like this had to happen. You, you. I feel like this time round, you had to set boundaries. You have to stick to your. I feel like you're you're sticking to your boundaries this time with this person. Yeah, this is probably a, a pattern of this person. This is like a negative pattern. You know, this person repeats. It's a repetitive pattern with this person for some of you. So now you're just putting a stop to it. Now you're you're putting a stop to the pattern. Nine of Wands. You put your guard up. Your wall is up. For some of you, you're not even, you're no longer even fighting for this connection with this person, even though it looks like it's a soulmate connection you have with this person, you know, past life relationship. But you got to put yourself first. I feel like you have been there, done that, and got the T-shirt at this point. With this Empress energy, you know, I picked this up with Pisces as well. You might have Pisces in your chart, but I really feel like you have been a lot. You've been, you're someone that has been a lot, been through a lot, you know, especially in your love life. You have loved and lost quite a few times. So you've learned from the past mistakes. You have learned and you're applying what you've learned to, you know, your life during this time. This is what I'm getting. You're showing this person. Who you truly are. Because you know who you are. You're showing this person who you are. You know, if they're going to come to you, they've got to come correct. I feel like this person didn't come correct. So you shut them down, I feel. You don't trust this person. Do you know what I'm getting? Because this is someone, you know, with a two of wands energy. I feel like whoever this is. This ex lover of yours, they were they they're in a they're currently in a situation with someone else. Because two of wands is someone that's you know, in a situation, but planning to leave. Planning to leave their situation to to head towards a, a new beginning. Because this Queen of Cups here, I feel like I'm getting karmic energy. This is. I feel like, yeah, the lovers in reverse. I really feel like this is someone that's got a choice. They have to make a choice here. Lovers, it's, make, it's all about making choices in love and in life. They probably chose. This is someone that probably chose someone else over you in the past. They made a poor choice. Yeah, Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like they are currently in a situation with someone else that they chose here. That's keeping them stuck. This is what it is. Maybe they told you about this third party. Yeah, it's a third party. I feel like they told, they may, you know somehow about this third party. This is why your wall is up. This is why you're guarded. This is why you've got boundaries. And you shut this person down. As you probably know, you're aware that this person is currently in a situation with someone else. And you don't want to be a part of it. You deserve better. Yeah. 
I feel like that's what's going on. Because this is someone that wants to come forward towards you here. But with the Six of Swords in reverse, this person is, is either stuck or they're moving slowly. There's something holding this person up. I really feel like it's a, the situation that they're attached to with someone else. They're attached to someone that's clingy, I feel. Queen of Cups in reverse is someone that's really emotional. They can be very emotional and clingy. It's an issue. It's slowing this person down. But they do plan to come towards you. They're still watching you. They're keeping their eyes on you. They're on a mission to come towards you, but I feel like you're making this person know that they got to choose. They can't have, you know, both you and this other person. It's one or the other. I feel like they realise that now. Yeah, we've got to let your friends help you. This person's probably trying to get advice from their friends. They probably, I feel like this is someone talking to their friends about you, about the situation now. They kind of feel defeated. I feel like you may have bruised this person's ego. But, um... Yeah, I feel like they, they feel like they don't know what to do now because, you know, it does look like they want to be with you, but they got a situation that they, they're attached to. They got someone that's attached to them or they're attached to that they, they haven't let go of. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the five of wands. So... I'm getting, you know, behind the scenes, there's a lot of drama. There's conflict here. Three of pentacles, third party situation, third party interference. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this queen of cups here is an issue during this time. It's slowing this person down for coming towards you. I feel like there, there's conflict now. Because this person's hurt. This is what I'm getting. There's conflict. They're arguing with the third party now. I feel like they're trying to break up with this third party. Yeah. Because they know they've got to choose now. They've got to choose. And I feel like they choose you. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is like someone... This third party that they're dealing with is... Uh, only with them for the money. Someone that's money hungry, I feel. Or codependent on this person for money, for financial stability. Three of pentacles, nine of pentacles. I feel like, yeah, it's, uh, it's all about finances here with this third party. They are codependent on this person here for financial stability, I feel. But they are emotional as well. They're clingy. I don't. I feel like they don't want to. I feel like it's an issue because I feel like this person has bit off more than they can chew dealing with this third party. But this third party, I feel like they don't want to let go. This is why things is this, this person feels stuck. Can't move. For, can't move on. But this third party is clingy here. They don't want to let go. They they've got they've they've they're emotionally attached to this person now. It's an issue. This person bit off more than they can chew. Ooh, seven of wands. Yeah, they're guarded. See, they don't want to be with this third party. There's a lot of fight. This person's trying to stand up for themselves here. Yeah, they're hurt. Three of swords, definitely third party situation. See, this person's hurt. Because they're hurt because of how you deal with them, I feel. Because you shut this person down. They are carrying that pain. Ten of swords, they're carrying that pain. It looks like they're taking it out on the third party here. They're arguing. Yeah, they're arguing. It's a breakup. Three of swords. Yeah, ten of swords is a burden. This person wants to release it. Yeah, they're trying to release this third party now. That's what's going on behind the scenes. Because you shut this person down, everything is shutting down now. I feel this is what I'm getting. Yeah, they're trying to come up with a solution. They feel stuck. They are swords in reverse. They feel stuck now. 
they're a bit of more than they can chew here because it's not that easy i feel to just detach from this third party this third party is latching on they're a bit of more than they can chew but in reverse i feel like they're trying to find a solution this is their way of trying to get out of that third party situation you know I feel like they're getting advice from their friends as well. They're trying to find a solution to un to release themselves from this situation they got themselves into. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. Uh, stop trying to make a decision. Because they know they've got to choose. It's one or the other. It's either you or them. they got to choose. But I feel like in reverse, this person's made their choice. Uh, like I said... They got their eyes on you. They're coming towards you. They made their choice. Two of swords in reverse. They know the truth. They know the truth now. They know what they want. Yeah, the tower. It's a breakup. They're trying to break up with the third party now. Scorpio, Aries, energy. But it's in reverse. Because I really feel like this third party is clingy. So it's not all the way over yet, you know, but it's it's on thin ice. It is on thin ice here. Maybe this third party is trying to use emotional manipulation. Or, yeah, trying to manipulate this person with, emotion, with emotions here. Emotional, yeah, manipulation or this is what I'm getting. So it's rough times, yeah, judgment in reverse. This person's under judgment, they made a poor judgment here. Nine of swords, wow, it's stressful. It's stressful for whoever this is, they can't sleep. A lot of anxiety here and, and regrets, a lot of regrets. They, they regret what they got themselves into, yeah, they're not happy. The sun in reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo. They're not happy, yeah. King of Swords. This person's angry. Shit. And they're taking it out on the third party. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, because you shut them down. So they're just mad at the world right now. Yeah, they're shutting down everybody. Seven of Cups in reverse. Wow. This person's shutting down everybody. They're angry. They don't want to deal with nobody. Nobody but you. They are angry. They're in their feelings. The magician. You see, this person's determined. This this person is actually determined to be with you, you know. Magician. Yeah, three of cups. Knight of swords. Yeah, they are determined to be with you. They're going to make it happen one way or another. So, this person's coming back. They're not finished with you. They're just going to just... Uh, Tie up some loose ends, it looks like. And then they're coming right back. Yeah, they're going to make it happen one way or the other. We've got the magician energy here. They're not finished with you. Three of cups, yeah, they come back. There's going to be a reunion again with this ex-lover of yours. They're coming back. Knight of swords. Yep, that's the truth. Ace of swords. That is the truth. They're coming back. Yeah. And I feel like this time they're going to come correct now. Yeah, that's the truth. They're going to come correct. Ooh, they're coming correct. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, they know they've got to come correct with you. The Hierophant here. So, yeah, they know your your marriage material, you know. They know your worth. You're making this person know your worth. They know what time it is. So, they're, gonna, they're ready to play by the rules now. They're ready to play by the rules, yeah. And do things your way. This person's not giving up. They're coming back for you. This is what it looks like. Once they wrap it up with this third party. This is what's going on. So angel answers for this reading. We have choose a new direction. Yeah, I feel like this is what you're doing. You're focused on a new direction. This is what what's happening here. And I feel like they're focused on you. You are their new direction. Yeah, no need to worry. And big happy changes. So yeah, things is changing in the situation in a very positive way. So however you're handling this situation, 
you're doing the right thing. This is what I can see. So, good luck. I hope this reading helps. I'll see you soon.